What's up everybody, today we are reacting to the Assassin's Creed Valhalla character trailer for Ivor. It's called Ivor's Fate, and I am super excited to take a deep dive into this character. I am a big fan of Assassin's Creed, and everything I've seen with Assassin's Creed Valhalla has been super, super hype, including the gameplay overview that we just had at Ubisoft Forward, as well as the cinematic trailer that we saw just, I think, a couple months ago. If you want to watch those reactions to those videos, those are both on my channel, and I say we just go ahead and jump right into this. Oh, there I they can are. see your fate. Woo! Oh crap! It flows. Saw the hidden blade order. there. Carved out before you. Who's talking? Someone seen our fate I can in the see future? Your desires, <sighs> taking you far from your home. Dude, look at this scenery! The Holy crap! Of power, of mystics. Going away from our home. Legends. Becoming a legend. But you are hiding something. Dude, there's that hidden blade. Not so hidden, I'd say. <laughs> They're hiding something. Walk with shadows. Walk with shadows Walk like an assassin? You seek. I see conquest. Conquest, I see well. your enemies. Yo, bro. Epic face off there against like the antagonist, it seems. You doubt. Norway looked great there in the snow. Glory awaits you, Eivor. Gloria waits. But it will cost you everything. Dude, this all-out warfare is pretty freaking epic. Just the Vikings invading and just going at it. These assaults and raids just look like they're going to be such epic scale. I think I'm going to enjoy these more than the conquest battles from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Those just felt like, you know, you're just in this mosh of people. But this actually feels like an assault on, like, a fortress, you know? Ah, oh, dude, look at Ivor. He looks so great. Looks so cool. Such a great design with that beard. I'm always a good... Or a big fan of beards oh dude and that hood up on his head we saw a little bit of that in the gameplay overview but he looks so cool when he has a hood on his head looks like an actual assassin oh and the hidden blade oh and the double axes reminds me of connor throwing his tomahawk i can see all of it see all of it blood and flame Whew. loyalty and yeah there's family. that sexy hood man betrayal Hunger. There is a war within you. Wow. And glory. This will is great not editing. Be enough. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Glory will not be enough. Wow. That last line there, it reminds me kind of of like what the kind of like prophecy person is saying. The idea of there like being a war within him and the glory is not going to be enough. I wonder if he's going to be kind of searching for deeper meaning because. It reminds me a little bit of Edward Kenway from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And the big thing with Edward Kenway was that, you know, they have that line, I think Blackbeard says it, that in a world without gold, we would have been heroes, which is such a beautiful line, because that idea of like, if we weren't just constantly pursuing this greed, we could have been noble people, we could have been heroes. And I'm curious if there's gonna be a similar thing with Ivor here, the idea of like, if it, if it wasn't for this conquest and this war, you know, and the Vikings raiding and assaulting, you know, maybe he could have been someone else, or maybe he will be someone else. And maybe that's kind of where the Assassin's Creed part of it comes in, the idea of kind of serving a greater purpose, a greater brotherhood. Because the narrative director for this game is the same narrative director as Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And I think there's just kind of some parallels going on there between the pirates and the Vikings. And so I'm really excited for that to be explored. And I've seen a lot of complaints of people saying there's not stealth or it has nothing to do with the actual assassins. But I think this idea of the Hidden Ones rising up, which the Hidden Ones are the assassins from before Assassin's Creed 1 and, you know, chronological order and all that. Um, I think I think it really kind of plays into the whole story, especially with Templars rising up or the Order of the Ancients, however you, however you describe it. So I'm really excited. And I think even the idea of kind of that war rage, raging inside of you, the idea of kind of living in the shadows, but then also being on the front lines. I think they're kind of being a little bit self-aware with the narrative and the writing and the character. Um, but yeah, very excited for everything we've seen with this game. I think the gameplay looks astounding. I think the story sounds remarkable. The world design is beautiful. Ivor himself is such a great character. Although my only complaint with Ivor is his voice does not seem to match his body that much. Seems a little off if you guys have heard his voice. Um, or I thought the female voice actually went a little bit better with like the female look and so I may actually hop between the two protagonists just because of that male and female Ivor um, because of the voices and all that which 
there was a lot of times I thought Cassandra was better acted in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but I also sometimes like to play as Alexios, and so it would have been nice to have the option back then to go back and forth, but I'm excited that we can do it now. Overall, though, very excited. I'd love to share the hype down in the comment section below. Let me know down there, and also don't forget to watch the other reactions here on the channel, and also join my Discord to talk about Assassin's Creed. I'll talk to you guys next time, but until next time, bye!